<clears throat> What's up, YouTube? My bad for the mask. It just recently snowed here. Yesterday morning. Early yesterday morning. Or late yesterday morning. Whichever. Like like 3, 3 a.m. Throughout. And it's cold as hell. Anyway. <clears throat> update. Uh, on my water fast. I told you guys uh, I was going to turn this heat. Well, turn it down. I told you guys I was going to give you guys uh, a weekly update every Sunday. I, I believe uh, the video that I was talking, uh, saying that uh, I was going to give uh, every Sunday update on my water fast results and what's going on with me. Um, I believe when I made that video, it was on a Friday. <clears throat> so I wasn't planning on doing an update for that Sunday. I was just going to, I was just going to uh, start the fast on Friday and continue out through the following Sunday. But what ended up happening was that Friday when I made the video and that Saturday and that Sunday, I was eating. Why? Because I'm a weak fuck. That's why. I'm weak as hell. Woo. <clears throat> My bad. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I actually started Monday, you know, after those three days, I started Monday and, uh, I end up, <laughs> I end up breaking my fast Saturday, Saturday pass. And I tell you why I'm just getting out of work. So I'm, I'm tired as hell. Um. Uh, my my own um, experience with water fasting this time around was not a good one like my body was attacking me like no body's business like i couldn't believe how bad my body was attacking me and i did some research and it makes sense you know uh i read and i saw on a video that if you do a water fast a long period water fast once you break that fast don't attempt another water fast until like six months to a year down the line me I try to get on it too quick it, it was like three months like maybe like two or three months for me before I try to start it up again when I did that video I'll let you guys know that I was going to do it again so that was my bad you know that was my bad for not uh, doing my due to, uh, diligence and you know finding out that if it's okay to like you know do water fast whenever you decide to do a water fast but evidently if you do a long period water fast it is not good for you and definitely not recommended to start another one before that six months to a year period so after like that first day of water fast like i was just so hungry like the first two days actually the first day was worse than the second day for me like i was hungry as hell and then um the third day was a breeze like i i didn't have any cravings i was good like that the, the fuck you looking at the third day was a breeze the fourth day was pretty easy too you know um i would have cravings here and there but it wasn't as bad and as intense so the fourth day was also pretty easy. Uh, the fifth day, I was getting really, really bad headaches. Like bad headaches. Like even the first time I did the uh, the water fast, like I was experiencing like headaches like that. Not until like uh, like the seventh, like a little bit on the seventh day, but like uh, it was a little stronger like on the 13th to the 14th day. And that's when I like broke my water fast on the 14th day. But this time around, like on the seventh, uh, no, no, excuse me, on the fifth day, like my head was killing me, bro. My head was killing me. It was killing me. 
you know, it did like I would get dizzy spells when I stood when I stand up. You know, I, I would get a lot of dizzy spells. I would get weak. I was really weak, you know. But it wasn't as strong as it was Saturday morning. Saturday morning, I felt like I was dying. Like straight up, I was weak. Like when I got up, not only did I felt weak, but my heart was like trying to escape me. It was like racing and everything like that. Like I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was having a heart attack or anything like that. It was just, it wasn't normal. It wasn't normal for me to feel that way so quickly in the game. So like, uh, I was trying to fight it. You know, I was drinking a lot of water, a lot of water. I did, I just really took a gallon, uh, a gallon of Polish, uh, Irish Spring to the face. Now, is it Irish or Polish Spring? Polish Spring, excuse me. I took a gallon of Polish Springs right straight to the face. And like, it made me feel better for a little while, maybe like 45 minutes to an hour maybe. But afterwards, man, I was right back on it. I just felt bad, man. I, was, I felt bad. So I broke my fast, like, you know, but I broke it the right way. I went to the grocery store. Well, actually, I had my girl go to the grocery store and she um, bought me some uh, bone broth. And I sipped on that, uh, drank that, bro that bone broth, you know, and it made me feel so much better. You know, you could like, when you're fasting, it's weird. When you fast, you could feel like the fat leaving you. Like, it almost feels like um, the same feeling you get when you're hungry, your stomach growling. Like, it's, it makes that growling sound, you know? And then uh, when when I broke the fast and I, I was drinking that bone broth, like, I just felt rejuvenated. Like, I could feel my strength and energy come back. It was crazy. But, yeah, man, I had a break, y'all. And like, plus, I was worried anyway because today I'm starting CrossFit again. And because, uh, and and if I had kept the, the water fast, today would have been my eighth day. And if I was feeling so bad, like on Saturday, I would have felt worse on Sunday. And it'll tell how I would have been today. And then, and then also on top of that, planning on going to, uh, to CrossFit, I probably would have died, you know, if I even made it to CrossFit. Yeah, I definitely probably would have died. So yeah, I'm just going back to the, the intermittent fasting. I'm just going to do the, that's weird. I'm just going to do the intermittent fasting. And like, uh, you know, stay true to that, you know. Uh, and, and, and like, uh, it just like really, like go balls to the wall on this, uh, this CrossFit classes, you know, do that up. And then, um, after CrossFit, after this month is up, I'm thinking next year, January. I'm looking at February, actually. February, I'm gonna start lean bulking. Cause I can bulk, no problem. I can put on muscle, no problem. Like it's so crazy that, you know, I have people talking about, you know, asking me if I'm on steroids and shit. I can put on weight, no problem. But the only thing is, it'll be like a dirty bulk. I just look like, I, I look like one of them guys that's competing in a strongman competition versus like a bodybuilder competition. You know, bodybuilders, they all ripped and cut and they got striations everywhere versus a strongman competition. Like these niggas, they eat burgers and steak, shove everything, everything down their throat and they'll pick stuff up and put them right back down, man. So yeah, I don't want that look. You know, I, I want to be big, but I want to be cut too. You know, I don't have to be like, like crazy cut, you know, like like Brad Pitt back in his heyday type cut. But you know, I want to see my abs though. You know, I want to see you know a little you know, definition in my body. That's my goal. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Anyway, that's that's what, that's the reason for the water fasting and the intermittent fasting because it's hard for me to burn fat. I'm not a type of person that can burn fat easy. I can put on muscle muscle skin. I can put on muscle easy. I, I gotta go through extremes to burn fat, man. And I I've done everything. I was boxing, capoeira, different uh, forms of martial arts beyond capoeira, um, hiking, you know, even biking up the up the mountain to get to the hiking trails. I'm going to hike, you know. Uh, I mean, some of everything. I, I did CrossFit last year, you know. I, yeah, I stopped it for a while because I, I was new to it. And, difficult 
but you know, I did it uh, last year. I feel like I'll be more, I'll be a little bit better at it this year, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah, I'm gonna really put my everything in it, you know, to like lose the rest of this weight. Now, don't get me wrong, when I started the water fast this past Monday, I lost weight from when I talked to you guys. Uh, I think I was, uh, yeah, I was fluctuating between um, 205 and 210. And I went all the way down. Well, I weighed myself last night, so right now I'm to 196 right now. So like I'm, I'm gonna keep on trying to burn weight, but not doing it um, during water fast. I'm just gonna do it through intermittent fasting and hard work, you know, and exercise like that. And plenty and plenty and plenty of green vegetables, like shove green vegetables down my throat and just do it that way. Oh, and. I did my vitals. See how I broke um, before I broke my fast on Saturday. I did my vitals, and surprisingly enough, like I didn't have high blood pressure. Like my blood pressure was normal. It was like 127 over 82. My temp was num normal. It was 97, 97, 97.6. My respiration and pulse was fine. You know, I don't have an O2 machine to uh, to test my oxygen, but I don't I don't need stuff like that. My, I breathe fine, but yeah, man, my vitals, my vitals came out normal. I was, I was, I, my vitals said I was fine, but I physically did not feel fine. So, yeah, guys, I broke my fast because of lack of information on my part, because I didn't know that you, you couldn't. I thought you could just do water fast like you could do intermittent fast whenever you're ready, you know. But you know, that's my bad. You live and you learn. And also, the other reason why I broke the fast because I'm a weak fuck nut because I didn't uh, I didn't research that part of it properly. You know, I wouldn't think you know because you you can do intermittent fasting like people like Terry Crews. Terry Crews, that's his life. You know, he's been doing that for life. You know, for a vast majority of his life. You know, you watch an interview. There's an interview I saw on YouTube, and he said he does intermittent fasting where he eats uh, from 2 p.m. Uh, between 2 p.m. and 10. One time I could have sworn I saw an interview where he said like he eats between one and four. I know I did, I know I did. And I was doing that, that's why I lost so much weight. That's one of the other reasons why I lost so much weight. And I was doing that and I was really content with that. You know, I didn't feel the need to eat beyond four. You know, I really didn't. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna do the intermittent fasting and maybe, uh, I don't know. Now, I, I don't know if I, I'm going to go back to the war and fast again because if everything I don't need to lose that much more weight you know like it'd be great if I could get to like 169 but if I end up to like 180 179 anywhere in the 170 range I'd be extremely happy I could definitely work with that and put on some um, some lean clean muscle you know so I don't know if I'm ever going to do the water fast again, but you never know. Anything's liable will happen. So I'm just going to incorporate, you know, just the uh, the intermittent fasting in my lifestyle. And I'm debating um, also incorporating some vegan dishes. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But yeah, guys, that's my time. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.